Here's your latest briefing for the expected and ongoing snow wind across much of the area. As far as our watches, warnings, and advisories, uh, the winter storm warnings in the pink, these have stayed the same, the Baycorn Basin, also Johnson County. We did add some winter weather advisories, though we had the Star Valley this morning. And also yesterday we added uh, basically the Toronto County, also Fremont County, so bases like Jeffrey City, Casper, Riverdale, and Lander. And the uh, high wind watch here across uh, Sweetwater County to the east of Rock Springs, we did upgrade that to a warning. You want start and end times on that, a lot of different ones there. Go to weather.gov slash REW for those details. So as we time out the impacts, already some off and on snow across the western mountains, also the northern Bighorn Basin, northern Johnson County. You'll we'll see that snow spread south and east now. Places like Riverton, Lander, Casper, you'll probably be dry during the morning, snow coming in in the afternoon hours. And the maximum impact pretty much all day across the west. Now there will be snow around in these areas in the morning, but maximum impacts I think afternoon once the winds really start cranking up in this area. Mainly maximum impacts in the evening hours, central Wyoming, Riverton over toward Casper includes Lander as well. And now southern Wyoming, maximum impacts probably late tonight, especially with the wind, and maybe into Wednesday morning as well. And some snow showers around Pinedale and Big Piney as well. So as we look at the individual impacts, uh, strong wind blowing snow, a very high chance of that. We'll show you where the strongest winds are in just a minute. Travel problems, high chance of that again, especially with the snow and the wind comes in. That's just common sense, isn't it? And cold temperatures behind the snow, high chance of seeing that. We're not looking at low temperatures like we saw at the end of December earlier this winter and also in January, but it's going to get pretty cold across much of the area. Now I'll take a look at those winds starting off right now. See the strongest winds here across the Bighorn Basin, some gusts of 50, 55. Also, I-25 here in Johnson County, maybe some gusts up to 50 miles per hour here as well. Even around the Riverton area, those winds coming out of the Wind River Canyon could be some gusts of 50 at the airport, maybe not quite as strong in town. And across uh, eastern Sweetwater County, especially south of I-80, could be some wind gusts of 60 miles per hour. But many places could see gusts of 30, 35, so they'll still will be blowing around quite a bit. And I keep saying this, if you have any of this in the drinking game, Focus on impacts, not the snowfall amounts. It's going to be blowing around so much you're not going to be able to measure it. Matter of fact, I think I'll take a drink right now. Don't worry, it's water. Not going to drink at work. In any case, let's take a look at some of that probabilistic stuff. This is the low end amount we expect across the area. Maybe there's some flurries across southern Wyoming down here. Now, Big Piney and Pinedale have been getting a little bit of snow this morning, so I'd say at least a trace of snow in these areas. These graphics were made a few hours ago. But generally about two to three inches across the Star Valley, one to two across the western valleys. Anywhere east of the divide, expect probably at least one to three inches here. Maybe, uh, that should be about an inch around Gravel, I think, two inches around Cody, and about one inch in Casper, two inches in Lander. Now, if things set up right, we get the maximum amount of snow. You can see there's a big range here. Western valleys, anywhere from about two to five inches, depending on where you are, maybe up to a foot across the Tetons. Places I think they'll get hardest here from this event, I think, Buffalo up in here, there should be a decent amount of snow here. And the wind direction is pretty favorable. It's going to be more of a north-northeast flow, so places like Thermopolis could do very well out of this. Also to the south of Cody, down toward Batisi, also Lander could pick up maybe five, six inches of snow if things set up right. Maximum about four or five around Casper, about five around Riverton and Shoshone. And the Baycorn Basin east side, maybe as much as three, west side about as much as seven. Down here across I-80, also across Pinedale, Big Piney, maybe an inch or two at the most, but there will be wind in this area as well. So our most likely accumulation, basically uh, across the south, anywhere from about a trace to an inch, maybe two inches of banding sets up. Again, still banding. Take another drink. Again, water. Don't panic. Anyway, a little bit further north, you can see higher amounts generally as you go north. So I think about two to four around uh, Shoshone and Riverton, three to five around Lander, two to four around the Casper area as a general rule, three to six around Buffalo, but again, it's going to be blowing around so much you're going to have a tough time measuring it. East side of the Bighorn Basin doing pretty well, four to seven around Thermopolis, three to six in the Cody area. Down here across the Western Valleys, about one to three across the Jackson Valley, three to five around the Afton area, and obviously more as you go into the mountainous areas. Now, one more thing, that's the cold temperatures coming up. These are the coldest temperatures we've seen, but it's going to be rather cold across the area, many areas below zero. Coldest areas, I think, from this will be across the big the, uh, basins, mainly across the uh, Green River Basin, lows down to minus 20 here. The minus 18 Riverton, this could be at the airport. Some places downtown could maybe get down to 25 below. 
I don't think we're going to see 35 or 40 below like we did with the last two. Air is not as cold, also the nights are getting shorter since we're getting further closer to spring. Thank God, at least in my opinion. But many areas will see cold temperatures, especially the basins. Many areas tend to maybe 20 below zero. Here's our resource. You want weather, you know where to go, weather.gov slash R-A-W. That you want our road conditions. Again, don't call us for the road conditions. These are the places to go. This is where we get it from. Why well, I wrote that info if you want to go on the web. It's a great page with a lot. We can show you all the closings out there or any uh, road conditions, tough road travel conditions. If you want to call them on the phone, 511 if you're in state, come from out of state, 188 Wild Road. If you want to take a look at those webcams for yourself, just go to our website, weather.gov slash RIW, click on the local programs tab, you go down to webcams by route. We got webcams from all over the state. Be safe, everybody. Have a good day.